Let's do some daily word games. And I asked for word suggestions yesterday, and Boris was the only one who actually had one that I saw. So we are starting with Boris's suggestion of nasty. Very good starting word also. Wow, it worked out very well for this one. So I don't know why, but I'm thinking about like SSY words for this left one. It certainly doesn't have to be. The right word is interesting. And immediately I'm thinking about T-A-N, although it doesn't have to be also. Um, I don't actually know what T-A-N would do. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do a filler. Just get some good letters. So proud seems like a good idea. Get the O and the U. Get the R. The other option is prowl. If I think there might be a W, but I really don't think there is a W in either of these words. All right, I placed an O on the left word. There's a U in the right word. Could it be taunt or jaunt? It's the A-U-N-T trap. Oh no, so we've got daunt. I don't think font is a word, it's not. So we've got daunt, haunt, jaunt. Mm, I think vaunt is a word, it is. Haunt. Sorry, daunt, haunt, jaunt. Oh, and don't forget taunt and vaunt. Oh no. And I need to start with T, ideally. I'm not going to get them all in one go, but I could get the common letters. The, I could do like TH with a D somewhere. Maybe I can get the I as well. Is that too much to ask? Or the E. I didn't even realize I hadn't tried the E yet. Um... I have to start with T, or I'm not going to be able to check that T for taunt. I can't think of a word, though. I'm sure there is one. I could just go with thief or something like that, even though... Oh, sorry. Thief is spelled that way. Um, it gets the I and the E, at least. Test two of the letters for the aunt trap. Look how lucky I got. It is taunt. And I said there was no W, but I think the left is now showy. Let's get taunt first, and let's try showy. Okay. Well, my instincts were, were right about taunt, even though there were a bunch of other possible words. My instincts were right about taunt. So if I had just not thought about the aunt trap and just went with taunt, I would have gotten that in three. But um, thief helped with showy for sure, so I don't mind that too much. Um, so my instinct that there was no W was completely wrong, but that's okay. Let's move on to the chordal, and we will start with Taunt Showy. Taunt Showy. Not too bad of a start. Um, we didn't get a whole lot of info, though, so let's think about a good filler. How about Crime? Crime seems pretty good. You heard it here first. Ranks 2023. Crime seems pretty good. All right. Um, I'm thinking for the top left word, something R A something T. I was thinking about like craft or draft would work actually. Let's give that a try. Nice, it is draft. Wow. Um, the top right word seems interesting, but I don't know what to do with it. Like it could be every. Do I want to guess every right now? I mean, it tests. A new spot for E for the bottom left word as well, but let's think about the bottom left word first. Like, obviously I just want to shift everything left. Done something, but I don't think it's that. I think we do need to do D-E or D-O. D-O seems maybe more likely, but I'm not actually sure. Oh, actually, no, I was going to say demon, but it can't be. There's no M. I don't actually know what this is going to be. Maybe it ends in E-N? Dozen. Ooh, that's a good word. I kind of want to go with dozen. It was dozen. Nice. Okay. Um, that did try E before the Y, and it's not there, so that's good to know. I've already forgotten what word I was going to do top right, so let's refigure it out. Oh, no. Um, what was I going to do top right? Was I going to do anything? Um, wow. Completely lost all memory of it. So let's just think about it again. Uh, every. I was going to do every, and every is looking better now, actually, now that E's not fourth. So let's just do it. It was not every. Okay. 
Uh, there's one E and it's second. <laughs> At least we've located it. So I think we're like R E something something Y. The other option is E R something Y. That might be better. Pervy? I don't know if pervy would be an answer. It could be. Jerky. I like jerky because they like the weird letters, right? It is jerky. Okay. Um, does this end in I and K? We're kind of running out of letters. Uh, is plink a word? Plink is a word. Blink is better. Blink is better. Yeah, blink was way better. Okay. Draft jerky doesn't blink. <laughs> Very cool. Um, I like the J. I like the Z. Got some odd letters. Um, the meta worked this time. I'm sure it won't always work. But, oh, well, jerky uses a J, so it's probably that one. <laughs> uh, Quirtle does like doing that. I wonder what their their algorithm is, or if they're hand-picked now that they're Miriam Webster. I have no idea. But let's move on to the polygonal. Okay, polygonal number 207. We are in Hexpert mode, and we have a seven-letter word. The first and last letter are the same, and the second and second to last letter are the same. So if I did something like I and G, then we'd have to start with GN, which I think gnawing, gnawing is a word, so might as well try it. There is a G, but it is not repeated. There isn't, there's no N, A, W, I. Okay, so what if it starts and ends with S? That was going to be my backup plan. Um... And then a vowel second, or I mean, maybe T second. T second might make sense. Steg. Ooh, excuse me. Steg. Stur. Sturgs. Uh. Stug. Stugots. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, maybe it is a vowel. Let's put an E there. I like GES. It looks right. Sep. Just having that G is an interesting, an interesting uh, thing that it that seems to be anchoring me a little bit. Um, but I still can't think of a word. What about sur? No, surges is too short. I think that's with a U as well. Um, I'm thinking about other word, other letters besides the S as well. Just in my head, like T or R or something, but what if let's try R. Re because then I just need a like a five letter word that ends in uh E R that we redo. Um come on, there must be something. How about R E G? Re <laughs> Re Gamer. No, it can't be, have an A. Um Re Re Gutter. <laughs> re Gutter. Uh, come on, there's something, right? I re regret this? No. Um, regusser? Re regosser? Uh, Resauger? Re... I might have to do a filler. I think I've spent enough time on this and I, I can't think of anything. So let's think of a filler. We're going to turn off Hexpert. And ideally I would find where that G goes, but maybe just finding what the other letters are is enough. I'd like to start with S, and I'd like the second letter to be E, or end in ES maybe, but let's see. Mouses? No, that's too short. How about ST? Streets would be an interesting one, but I'd like to get more unique letters. Stroll? Strobed? Strobed is interesting. It tests the E in these spots. It puts an O somewhere, so we can test the O. Test the S here and the T here. If it accepts strobed, I think that's good. It does. No S's at all. This was not what I thought would happen, which explains why I couldn't think of a word. Well, uh, one option is to start with T-O and end with O-T. Uh... And of got what? Okay, I want to start another filler with TO because I have no idea what's going on here. Um, I don't know how to. What starts with TO? Topple. 
I hate I hate repeating like all of that. Does that even help? I feel like I need like TOU or something. Touch touchy touchies? <laughs> Darn, too short. Can I do like touchy with an EY? There must be something. This is what I want though. Um touch. I could just do touches then. Feels wasteful, but it gives me info that I need. Yep, so there is a T start and end. It is not T O though. It's, could it be T H? How would we end in oh O U? Oh, uh wait. It's this thought. I did not think about ending in starting with th because ending in ht seemed unreasonable, but o, o u g h t with a g? Maybe I should have thought about that. Huh. That's a cool word. Very cool polygonal word. I like that. Got it eventually. <laughs> Let's do today's Zordle. Um, I can start with ought, which is an interesting start. Hey, that's pretty good. So st or sh. Let's test the H second, but we'll do CH and we'll do Cho is Chol a word? No. Cho uh choke is a word. Okay. So H is not second. That's very good to know. The O and E got placed. So could we be S T O something E? Um like stone, stove. So maybe we should try the H. I don't know what what other we need other vowels if we're gonna do that. So hail haley or yeah, I like H A at least. Happy, but I don't want to really how about harpy so I don't repeat anything? Okay, well we're narrowing down where this H goes. There is an R and a P as well. So store is looking pretty good too. But we could do P R. And then there's no A, so maybe PRI. What if I tried something like Prime? Pride? I think that's not too bad. Whoa, Pride was. <laughs> that was a test. That was a test, Zordal, not an answer. How could you? Um, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Uh, so the H goes at either in the middle or at the end. What do we have? We have S at the start, probably followed by a T. O, and then H at the end. That's actually all basically forced, unless it ends in TH. S something OTH. I am reading this right. Yeah. Sloth. Nice. Oh, I love this image. This is great. Seven pride sloth. Here, now you can see it. That's awesome. Master DDT. I like the submission by Master DDT. <laughs> Pride Sloth. I love it. <laughs> okay. Put that back to how it was. Let's do the daily symbol. We're going to start with Blaze. I know you're very surprised. Hey, look, Z caught something again. So I'm going to test the E there with timer. Nice. It is an ER word. So we know there's no A, so it could be an O. It could be an OER word, like... What's a, what's a fun one? Foyer is a fun one. Okay, it is an OER word, but it's not Foyer. I think Foyer was the answer once already. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, goner, Poker, Joker. Let's do Poker. It is Joker? Nice, it was Joker today. Okay. Ah, uh, the fives get enough. The fives creep ahead. Oh well. I mean, it was an OER trap word. What do you expect from me? Getting that in five is actually pretty good. So, okay. Very cool. We are going to finish up with the fusel here. Might be a shorter video today, but that's that's okay. That's okay. Um, We're going to start with Joker. So we just don't get info about the K. I'm not even allowed to use a K in this guess. There's an E somewhere. Let's assume it's at the end. And I can't do pride. I'd love to do pride, but I can't. Well, 
There's just no R, so why would I? I'm having... Okay, Chive. Chive is an interesting... Oh, I'm not allowed to use E. Well, so much for trusting E at the end. Let's just do a good filler then. Snail. Alright, got the I and the L. This is the, um, this is the clue where it's like Wormel, where we get nearby alphabet hints per slot. Um, but I'm wondering about I-L-E. Like, smile? No, there's no S. Snail, re remove the S. It could also be something L. Um, what would that be? I don't actually know. Um, maybe not? I, I can think of a lot of SL words, but... Glide. I thought of glide. Okay, so that's interesting info. So this letter is not L, but it's an I, K, or M. I'm going to assume it's an I. Oh, uh, no, we don't know there's no I. We just tested I with the Wormel clue. It, it does end in E, as I suspected. This letter... If we look at the alphabet view, it's near D. So it's not going to be the L. So we actually place the L here, or not... Actually, the L can't be near the I either. That was actually... Glide was great. That puts the L at the start. L at the start is forced. Unfortunately, um, we might not be able to guess the word because we have to repeat a letter in this one. Um, but we know L-I-E is pretty forced because what else is going to come after L besides the I, not the K or the M. So, And this letter is close to D. What is this? I mean, I'm thinking like C would make the most sense, but in context, I don't see how that would work. I'm actually a bit confuzzled. Um, is there... Maybe I should do a good filler. I should find out whether there's a B, C, E, F, or G in the word. So, or in, I should test an E. Oh no, we know this isn't an E. Sorry, we know this can't be E because it was yellow here. So it's F, G, C, or B. I don't like any of those. L, I. We know there's an L. After an L, there's certainly an I. This can't be L. This can't be L. Wait, this could... No, this can't be L because it's near D. Um, I was going to say this could be L because it's based on the keyboard, but no, it can't be. So... Liege? Liege repeats the letter, too. Nice, it was Liege. Oh, it took me a while to think of that, but that's a cool word. I like that. And I was able to get it on the repeat guess. <laughs> guess. So that was cool. Let's do the blind fusel. We're starting with a blue clue, and we're going to do liege. Uh, I say blue clue. It's the, it's the symbol style clues. Okay, all gray, so it doesn't matter. Well, we know there's no E in the word, so we can't do our normal melee for this no yellows thing. We only get greens. Let's go back to QWERTY. I'm better at scanning QWERTY. Um, I'm going to do stats in the hopes that it picks up something. So I'm going to do start. It got the A, but I was going to get this A anyway when I guessed draft. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, RA is nice, though. Okay. So... We might as well use the RA here, but we don't have to. But let's think about what the, the word would be. Um, I can add an SH. So something like crash would be nice. Okay, that's an interesting result. So we're, we're ending with K. I don't think we end with J. So likely we are rack. Nice. Okay. Blind Fusel didn't make it all the way to seven this time. <laughs> Very nice. I like Blind Fusel on 5. That's a good solve. Um, cool. Well, how'd you do on these today? And just as a reminder, if you could leave a comment with a suggestion for a starting word, so I have some options there. Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like, subscribe, and if you have nothing else to comment, why not just comment nice? But uh, I love reading all your comments, so uh, definitely leave them below. And I will see you next time.